Get ready for an explosion of information, and if you love a good poop joke, you're in for a real treat. All things number two are probably the number one complaint among patients. Pay attention because knowing these drugs will help you a poop ton on the boards, wards, and beyond. Yep, it's time to relax, while we introduce you to the amenities at the Relaxative Spa. Disinpact while soaking in one of our numerous hot tub options. Uh, disinpact emotionally, of course. Let's start off by talking about constipation. Constipation is marked by straining hard poops, or uh, cleaning house, less than three times a week. Hence, we've got more X's than checks marked on the bathroom cleaning schedule here. It's a common problem in elderly and debilitated patients, as well as in those taking certain medications like chronic opioids or anticholinergics. Before reaching for laxatives, start off with lifestyle and dietary changes. Good bowel movements start with a high-fiber diet, adequate hydration, regular exercise, and going when the urge arises. And nature should take care of the rest. If lifestyle changes aren't enough, however, then some kind of long-term laxative regimen may be considered. Okay, step right up. This is your window of poopertunity to learn the art and science of laxatives. Think of laxatives as step-up therapy, which we've clearly symbolized by this step stool. <laughs> as you move up the steps, the laxative types get just a little harsher on your gut. Step 1. Gentle bulk forming agent. If these don't do the trick, step up to a stool softener. Osmotic laxatives are next, then stimulant laxatives. At the very highest step are suppositories or enemas. These can be pretty brutal, believe us and should be reserved for when things get really backed up. And if your patient has chronic constipation, there are certain drugs available by prescription. Okay, let's start off with the bulky ones. The bulk-forming laxatives are indigestible hydrophilic colloids that absorb water, forming a gel that distends the colon and promotes peristalsis. Common preparations include natural plant products like this psyllium seaweed over here. There's also methyl cellulose and synthetic fibers like polycarbophil. To achieve a laxative effect with bulk forming agents, be sure to drink plenty of water or else you'll be left with poop pellets that are hard to pass. Also, these agents can take a few days to work so might not be the best option for quick relief. Next, the stool surfactant agents but you can think of these as stool softeners. Surfactant agents soften stool by facilitating the penetration of stool by water and lipids. You may even say that they rescue your system from those hard-to-pass poops. So we've represented them with this rescuer and his surfboard. He'll save this sinking boat from certain doom Baywatch style. Now don't you fear. Common agents include docusate, hence the doc, Docusate can be quite the lifesaver for your hospitalized patients. It's commonly prescribed to prevent constipation and minimize straining, and is often combined with Senna, a stimulant laxative, which we'll cover shortly. Remember, stool softeners are gentle on the gut and make it easier to go, but when it comes to treating chronic constipation, they are less effective than other types of laxatives. So let's step up to osmotic laxatives. We're going to take a nice bubbly soak while we get into the osmotic agents. They're non-absorbable or poorly absorbable substances that sit inside your GI tract and attract water into the lumen, thus distending the intestinal wall and increasing peristalsis. These osmotic agents include magnesium-based drugs, mag hydroxide and mag citrate, hence the magazine here. And those who subscribe to this Business Insider can actually take care of their <clears throat> business quite rapidly. This is because these agents cause the rapid movement of water into the distal small bowel and colon, leading to a high volume of liquid stool followed by bowel evacuation. Ah, uh, relieving to say the least. 